everyone and welcome to the Sim Twins channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning, thank you for staying along with us. My name is Brooke and today we are creating the Try Guys. This is for our Sims 4 March Madness squad challenge that we did and so this is the fourth squad that we have created for this month and so I decided to go with the Try Guys and if you don't know who the Try Guys are, they are a group of four guys on YouTube who originally started at BuzzFeed and then they moved on to start their own channel and so I decided that since I really enjoy watching their content I wanted to create them in The Sims 4. So I will also put a link down to their channel in the description below so you can go and check them out. They are super funny and I just really like all of the content that they create. But anyway, so the group is four guys. Um, Keith Haversberger, Ned Fulmore, Zach Cornfoad, and Eugene Lee So I started with Keith Haversberger. And so I wanted to really make sure that I got the look and feel of each of the guys correctly. So I was looking at their headshot photos on their website so I could make sure to really get their personality and their looks down. Both Keith and Zach wear glasses, so I wanted to make sure that when I created their face structure that it would really look well with the glasses that are within The Sims 4. And since we're so limited on glasses, of course, I couldn't get the exact replica of glasses that they wear, but I did my best. And so I also did a specific color scheme for each of the guys. If you go on their website, each guy is associated with a specific color, and Keith is blue. So I went and made sure that all of his clothing fit in that blue color scheme. And what I really wanted to do with their clothing is trying to pick something that I think would really match their personality as well as um, stay within their specific color group. Um, and so I really liked what I got for Keith. Keith is such a goofball. He loves eating food. He does a lot of, uh, tries the menu, that kind of stuff. And he eats all of this stuff at all of the different fast food joints and chain restaurants out there. I really enjoy those videos for some reason. I think they're hilarious. And so, yeah, he's just a really fun, fun-loving guy, and so I wanted to really do him justice in his Sims 4 form. And the second person that I did was Ned Fulmer. So Ned is the dad of the group. He and his wife have a baby son, and he's so cute. And so, um, so Ned is definitely like the dad of the group. He makes dad jokes, and he also is like the one who everyone's like, he, he seems so well put together, like he went to an Ivy League school, so everyone, and he, and so like, he's just like a really, he's, he's like, he's like the really nerdy dad of the group, but I really like the dynamic that he brings to the group because he is a parent. He does have a different experience in life than the other three do. And so I just really, I really like Ned's personality. I think he's really funny and he's like really genuine and sweet and oh my gosh, his child is so adorable. I just love him so much. He's so cute. And so, yeah. And it said on his bio that Ned has red hair, even though when I watch the videos, it looks more like he has like brownish blonde hair. So I did one of the red color swatches for his hair, but I'm not exactly sure now that I look back on it, if it really represents him that well, because I think his hair in real life is not as red as this. I also didn't give him facial hair because, um, you know, in some pictures he's clean shaven, in some pictures he has facial hair. But one thing that I really did miss on his facial details is that he has a lot of freckles and I didn't add freckles to his face but I think that if you if you want to download these they're on our gallery the sim twins 14 you can obviously add uh anything you want to them add the freckles you know really make them justified in how they look and also I did not style the rest of their outfits I only styled one outfit for each guy so if you go and download them they will have just like the random other clothes that were on the base sim so it might be fun just to like go around and give them makeovers like if you have cc give them a cc makeover that kind of stuff since I am a no cc player I 
obviously don't have any of that um, CC, whether it's Maxis Match or Alpha. So if you want to take them, you know, give them a Maxis Match or Alpha overload, that would be really awesome too. Just make sure that if you um, post about that to tag us at T-Sim Twins, we would love to see how, what you do with these guys because they're just a super fun group and I think it was really fun to make them. And so Ned's color scheme was pink. So I went with the red tones and I gave him these nice pink jeans. And honestly, it's so hard to find good jeans in The Sims. Um, but honestly, some of the base game ones are pretty good. Um, but it's just really hard. I liked the I liked stuff that came with Discover University, like all of those pants. But a lot of them are like joggers and they're not really jeans. So they don't look as structured as I would like them to. So I was just making sure that I gave them like kind of a structured look. And so next we move over to Zach Cornfield. Zach is definitely the jester of the group, I would say. So I gave him the party animal trait, um, but he is He's really sweet. He's definitely like the one that everyone just kind of like makes fun of, but you know, he takes it in strides. He's, he's very, he's very good when it comes to like laughing about himself and that kind of stuff. And he's also been very open and vocal with the community about, um, his autoimmune disorder and that kind of stuff. So I really re admire and respect him for, um, being willing to share about, uh, the things in his life that do affect his health and things like that. But uh, yeah, he's definitely um, the one who has like the weirdest sense of humor. If you watched his um, series Candid Competition, there was this whole subplot where one of the producers was trying to get the show canceled. And then I think on like the season finale or whatever, he gets kidnapped. But so anyway, Candid Competition was just all about him like going to these different chains and um trying to get them to do these different things, different tasks, like make a birthday cake, make a sub, that kind of stuff. But he didn't tell them this was a competition. And it was so funny because the punchline was always that Walmart got disqualified because Walmart never did anything he asked for and or they could not do what he asked for because it's Walmart. So that was just a really funny series. And that's just the kind of sense of humor that he has, which I, I really admire his sense of humor. And his color scheme was green. So I made sure to like give him a really nice uh, outfit in the green color scheme. He's definitely, I would say, kind of nerdy. So I gave him more of like a nerdy outfit. Some of the guys I tried to give, uh, I tried to make their outfits really match their personality. And so I really gave um, Zach uh, kind of like this nerdy but put together look because he's been he's been upgrading his wardrobe lately. Um, definitely since he first started out, he's definitely um, more upgraded his style. And last we have Eugene Lee Yang. Eugene Lee Yang, as per his words in the, um, I think it's the Jubilee Media video, like do all Try Guys think the same? He is the only non-white and non-straight one of the group. So that's what sets him apart. Eugene is Korean and I am obsessed with Eugene. I think he is just so handsome and he is so smart and so creative. Like all of his videos are very distinct in their style. And if you watch a video that is directed by him, you like automatically know that it's one of his videos that he's directed and set up because he has a very, very special look and feel that he gives all of his videos. And I really enjoy that because it does kind of the channel allows the guys to really make all of the videos that they do. A lot of them have cohesiveness in the way that they're filmed and shot and things like that. But then if they themselves have like a personal project that they are working on, they can really do what they want with that and really make it their own. And so if you watch his video, I'm Gay, it's an amazing video. It's beautifully choreographed and it's really this beautiful story of him like coming out and um, telling the world who he is. And I'm just so... I'm so in awe of like how beautiful that video was and also how emotional and how raw Eugene gets. And so I really wanted to make a sim that really was very handsome and and very and definitely has like that Eugene energy. And so like 
he has like a very square jawline and he's like high cheekbones and you know he I just think he's like he's like the lead in a K drama like if any Korean drama Eugene could totally be the lead because he's very handsome um but so I definitely tried to give Eugene like the most stylish of all the outfits because that's that's his whole thing. He's like a very stylish, very polished, well put together person. And so I really wanted that to be um, shown through his colors, through his outfit. And so his outfit, his color scheme is purple. And he chose that um, specifically because it is a color that is very tied to the LGBT community that kind of stuff and so I really enjoy that about him he he seems like a very like fun ambitious person but he's also like I would say like more closed off than the other four but I think that's just because of like the things that he's gone through in his life he's had to be more closed off it's very hard to be a person of color and then also on top of that to be queer and so I understand like that that's a totally different dynamic than the rest of this than the rest of the guys in the group and the different things that he's had to face in his life so I just really appreciate Eugene being open and being representation for other Asian Americans um especially Asian Americans who are queer so that they can see that there are people out there who are achieving in the industry that they want to achieve in and they are being true to themselves they don't have to you know, they don't have to like put down on their own identities. They can be fully themselves. And so I really appreciate that about Eugene. And as an Asian American myself, I just love seeing Asian American representation wherever I can find it. And that's the reason why I definitely turned towards YouTube at the very beginning because YouTube was the first place that I really saw any Asian representation anywhere from when I was first watching Wong Fu Productions, Niga Higa, those kinds of things. Like, I just really appreciated that this was a community where we could all be together. And so thank you for watching this video. We're just moving into the screenshots. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Try Guys. Um, and if you download them and play with them, please make sure to tag us. We would love to see what you do with our creations. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in another one. Have a good day. Bye.